all right folks you know we all got this hot weather going on right now especially here in southern illinois let me put you right here i'm gonna show you something real quick all right i want to know the solution for these umbrellas what are people doing now what i've done and i'm gonna try it out before or after this storm i'm not quite sure but i hollowed out one of these guys see how it's nice and empty right there and that means it's going to fit securely in there so whatever i can fit into that hole um, should be the ticket and i found one of these small umbrellas i just don't know if it's going to do it or not but it was cheap got it at big lots and uh, i figure it's worth the I want to know what the solutions are. What are the other guys using right now? Now, if you throw out me at like a different chair setup and all that stuff, I probably am not interested. I'm looking for nice, sleek, small, something I can continue using my regular chair. But uh, let's see here. First time I put it up. You know, short of it not having a an angle, that ain't too bad. <coughs> Might not be the sexiest, <coughs> the sexiest thing I've ever seen, but uh, and it might fall away, fly away in these big winds. Here, I'll show it to you from a distance. Here, hold on. Yeah, it's kind of small, isn't it? Kind of small. Need a much bigger one, but. It might do for a little while until somebody comes up and tells me what the solution is. In fact, I'll probably move this video up in the front of the videos and so I can get some feedback because I definitely want a solution. It is just too dang hot. I'd love for something to fit in that guy. But uh, if you've got a different solution, like a bigger one, an option there, because I found, I have found several umbrellas that would go just a little bit bigger. If that was just a little bit wider, it, they could fit in there. So if you can tell me a solution, I appreciate it. We're gonna still put slabs in the boat on this episode, so yeah, let's do that right now. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, we're gonna put some fish in the boat real quick. We got storms all around us, which is interesting. We've had this, it was 100 degrees today already, and all of a sudden we got storms coming up around us, which maybe will put everything in high gear maybe all these fish will wake up a little bit they were not so much awake this morning a little tougher bite so at least i think we'll see for sure. oh all right he's a small guy but he's gonna start the he's gonna start the episode off right there good start to the day live scoping with storms all around me and uh we've got a good image here i'll show it to you here right there that's a good pile and uh a little a little uh, a little further down than we'd normally like to fish but at the end of the day we needed to get out of that wind We've got these little cells all around us right now. Ooh, here we go. That is a great fish. Now that's a, that might even be a picture fish. Great fish. Like we normally do, we put them back. That's a great fish. Be free! Here we go. So the question of the day is whether or not what is the best umbrella setup? And no, I don't want to buy two chairs just so I can have an umbrella thing in between me. I'm thinking there's got to be something that's kind of a standalone deal that people are, are, are doing. By the way, I'm fishing with the white three pound fishing, 132nd ounce head, and a little variation of the monkey milk one right there. Pretty simple. Number seven split shot, helps me identify it, plus it gets it down there quicker for me. All on the 10 pound 
All right, folks, I get asked a lot still about the loop knot that I do. It's kind of hilarious. I've shown this so many times, but we're gonna show it again. I'm putting my number seven split shot on right now. By the teeth, you should not do that, but there it is right there. And then, like I said earlier, I am fishing with a 132nd ounce three pound fishing. It's a white jig in. For whatever reason, white seems to be working right now. I don't typically fish with white, but anyway, you put that through the eyelet on the jig, grab it, see, coming through right there, and then get, give yourself plenty of line. I'm gonna, right there, and all I'm gonna do is twirl that around about five times, then I'm gonna grab that same jig head and the hole that has been created by my finger being there holding there, it goes through there, and there's a gob of stuff. I always talk about the gob of stuff. It's not the most accurate way of doing a loop knot, but there it is. I cinch it down. I get rid of that, and that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good loop knot. That's about a half of an inch, maybe maybe less. Actually, probably less. I always target a quarter of an inch um, when I'm out here just jacking around like I am right now. It doesn't really matter. I don't think so. Yeah, that's that's a little less than half of an inch, but that's a that's my setup. And the reason why you do a loop knot is it hold it hangs horizontal. Better presentation, in my opinion. Now, it is not a knot that is going to provide you the most strength, from what I understand. I'm not an expert knot guy, but I've heard a lot of people say that loop knots do not provide, and I understand because you're just looping it through the eyelet. So. And then, no matter how you put your uh, three pound fishing paddle tail on, it don't matter. They work both ways, upside down, sideways. That's the rig. All right, let's put some fish in the boat. Get one last thing. If you didn't try those Let's Go Fishing Packs, they're still on the website. Extremely hot. This is the, right here, the big dog right here. This has got like a million of every single color we ever have. But that Let's Go Fishing is a great way to start and then you can add to it. But I think you get 80 jigs, 12 baits for an, an incredible savings. So it's a really good way to get a lot of jigs and a lot of colors and sizes for one small price. A lot better than buying it individually. Solid eater right there, boys and girls. We like that. Take about 30 of those. Bam. jacking around with paddle tails and I went ahead and I switched to a small curly tail and that seems to be the ticket right now. It's interesting. Cat, it actually detects lightning. Check this out. See this guy right here? It's telling us that the lightning is really close to us. And it has three different colors. Actually, I don't know if there's an orange, but it's a red, yellow, and then a blue is kind of telling you that everything's okay. But we were out on the lake one time and it was going off and I was like, oh my gosh, something's not right. Maybe my batteries are gonna die or something because it's, it's a lightning bolt. But uh, no, it's actually detecting lightning around. So somewhat annoying occasionally, but uh, clear that there would be lightning around. And I 
think that's within five miles or something like that. I'm sure somebody out there in YouTube land can know the answer to that. But, um, I don't know, let's find a couple more. No, I'm not ignoring it. It's just that I know the storms are moving that way. And it seems to be passing. Not that it couldn't get us, but we all play the gambling game sometimes on the lake. And I think it's far enough away. All right, well, we're going to end it. Not because of the storms necessarily, but pretty windy and all those good stuff. I don't want you to forget, please give me some feedback on the umbrella. What are, what are your ideas? What are some things that you can do? Um, appreciate your help. I'll also probably do some type of a poll um, on the community site to kind of see what people are saying. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.